guys. So today I'm going to show you how to get this easy, fresh summer makeup. I love this. I reach for it all the time and it's perfect for every day and it'll go with any outfit. So I'm going to start off with my proactive sunscreen for face because I'm going to be out in the sun a little bit during summer and I want my skin to be protected. Then I'm going to take this primer and apply all over the face. A primer is a must for me because I get more oily during the summer. For foundation, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Lumi and my Sigma F80 brush, my favorite foundation brush, and apply this to even out my skin tone and add a little bit of a glow. Since I'm doing really light eyes, I'm going to go ahead and work on the skin because this look is all about skin and light eyes. Then for a little bit of an under eye highlight and to hide dark circles, I'm using my Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer in Nude. I love this stuff. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with my Beauty Blender because it just makes it look flawless. And make sure to get on the inner corners of your eye because you can tend to get a lot of darkness there and a lot of people forget to cover that up. Now let's start on the eyes. I'm using an eye primer. This one's going to cancel out darkness and prevent creasing because I have a lot of darkness on my eyelids and since it's hot, like I said, I want my shadows to stay intact. Now I'm going to take MAC Soft Brown Eyeshadow, it's my favorite transition, and apply this loosely in the crease with the Sigma E40 Blending Brush. I love Sigma brushes, they have the best eye brushes especially, and this is just going to add a little bit of depth. Then I'm going to take MAC All That Glitters Wet. I use a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and apply this heavily all over the lids because it's not glittery, it's not chunky, it's just a healthy, gorgeous, glowing sheen. I just can't quit All That Glitters from MAC. And then I'm also going to add it on the inner corners of my eyes as well for another highlight. Now for lashes, I'm using Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. I just can't quit this. I love it. I have a first impression I did a few months ago and I haven't stopped using it since. Now since it's summertime, I want my skin to look as natural as possible. So I'm going to use this cream bronzer from Chanel. It's the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. And I'm just going to use a big bronzer brush. This is from Eco Tools. You can get it at Walmart. And I'm just going to bronze the outer perimeter of my face and where I would contour. But I'm not being really precise. I'm just getting it in the areas where I would naturally get tan. Then to make me look a little bit sunburnt, I'm going to use Max Give Me Sun Bronzer. I love this. It's just a gorgeous glow and it makes you look very tan. So I'm going to use a stippling brush to lightly airbrush the product on the skin. For blush, I'm going to use Max Melba. It's a matte corally pink and it's perfect for every skin tone. And since the skin is dewy, I'm keeping the blush matte. You guys know I can't go without a highlight, so I'm going to use MAC Whisper of Guilt and highlight the high points of my face, going in a C shape around my eyes, the bridge of my nose, a little bit, chin, and Cupid's bow, and you will just absolutely glow. Going back to the eyes, I'm using MAC's Nude Chromographic Pencil. I'll list it down below to make my eyes look larger and more fresh. Then make sure to show your lower lashes some love as well and it will make your eyes look bigger applying mascara there. And since this one isn't waterproof, I'm going to use Anastasia's Lash Genius. It makes any mascara waterproof and it is amazing. I love it for the lower lashes. Going back to Melba Blush, I'm adding it on the lower lash line just to pull the blush into the eyes and it makes you look just sun kissed. For lips, I'm going to use MAC's Lip Erase because it cancels out the pigmentation of my lips because they're pretty pigmented. Then I'm going to use a little bit of MAC Strip Down Liner on the outer parts of my lips and the cupid's bow just for a little bit of definition.
And then I'm going to top it off with Max Angel lipstick. I love this color. It's perfect for every day. It's a frost, but it doesn't look frosty, and I love it. This and Cream Cup are my two favorite everyday natural colors from MAC. Then I always top it off with my MAC Fix Plus Water just to bring everything on the face together. So that's my everyday summer makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Super easy and light makeup. It's fresh. It's dewy. You can pair any kind of lip color. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you later.